So whatever you would want to be done to you and for you that is in the external relationship, first of all, deal with yourself for that first. Guys, what is good? Can you imagine two people who have serious issues and they got married? There's going to be <laughs> continually serious issues in the marriage. Some of you will say, oh, when I marry him, when I marry her, they will change. But if in the preliminary stages, they don't change, just be aware and set yourself up to a continuous issues that you probably would have the liberty at the time to solve it. Today, I want to talk about why you shouldn't just jump into a relationship. The word is relation and then ship. The communication to it is simple. It means that you are going to be on a journey. But the most important part is being able to relate with each other well on the journey you are going to go. What is the journey? The journey is the journey of love. It's a journey of friendship. It's a journey of companionship. It's a journey of whatever you call it. It's a journey of marriage. But before you get these journeys set up well and working in them well, you need to backtrack and work on the relationship, the vehicle that would help these journeys be smooth. Relationship is not a joke. It's not a child's play. But many of you, many of us have taken it for granted. And it has gone back at you it has backfired many times before you step into a relationship whether an old one or a new one you need to do some things to yourself first you don't just meet somebody start a relationship with the person and marry the person the next day man they will show you pepe as i show you the pepe you probably won't be able to <laughs> you won't be able to close your eyes again because you cry there's the thing we called intrapersonal relationship and there's a thing called interpersonal relationship more like this the internal relationship and then the external relationship so i'm going to use these words to make it simple for you before you start a relationship focus first on the internal relationship internal relationship consists of the state of your heart as an individual the state of our heart is so important to how we behave ourselves if your state of heart is not good it's not solid your behavior will give you out many times your behavior will, will, would put you in trouble many times the state of your heart is, is a whole space that deals with your feelings your emotions your intellect your mind your everything your your, your reasoning faculty you need to be sure that at least one part of your state of heart is checked at least if that part of your state is checked i'm sure from the rest you'll be okay then you need to check on your state of mind your thinking you see the reason many people fight in relationships and marriages is because you don't think alike example could be oh i believe in making more money you don't even believe in making more money or you are just bad lazy and we start a relationship all the time you are asking me for money all the time you're asking for money there will come a time where i'll be fed up and i'll be like yo you to learn how to make your money and possibly the way i'll put it you might not like it there will fight there will be, be a fight and once there's a fight there's a breakup before you jump into a relationship be sure that you have worked on your character. Be sure that you have worked on your attitude. And just on a general, anytime you want to show forth you, be sure your personality is well checked. Because at the end of the day, you might meet the most sweetest guy or the most sweetest girl in the world. But your character, your attitude will spoil the relationship. The internal part is so important. 
before the external or to the external relationship. Literally, whatever you put into the external relationship is actually what you have built in the internal. So if in your heart, you have built yourself up to love unconditionally, to give without expectation, to be kind, to be sweet, to be nice, to be gentle, to be good. Because you have built this in your heart, your external would basically be these exhibitions. If in your mind, you don't think about sickness, you don't think about poverty, in your mind, you don't think negative stuff. Uh, when you get to the external, it is this same place or this same posture you're going to put in the external. So why don't you get the internal built up first? It is so important to the external. Just know that if you don't build the internal first, you're signing yourself up for more trouble in the external. So be, be patient. Don't rush it. Don't rush it at all. Be patient and build yourself up. Add value to yourself. And when you do that, the external itself will find you. Whether you're a male or a female, once you build your internal, the external will find you. The things, things, well, literally, good things gravitate towards good things. The thing you can manage is what will come to you. So before you jump into a relationship, build because when you jump into an external relationship suddenly whilst you have not learned to love yourself you might want somebody or that person who probably also haven't learned to love himself or herself to love you don't give it to you the way you want it the way you expecting expecting it and once that doesn't happen ah, you easily and comfortably move from that and jump into that what you're doing is you're just jumping 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 when you realize <laughs> you have finished jumping a lot of into a lot of relationships and there's none that is yielding results so whatever you would want to be done to you and for you that is in the external relationship first of all deal with yourself for that first do it to yourself do it for yourself first in the internal so when you go into the external and doesn't even come the way you want it. You can be more tolerant, you can be more patient, and you can live in that, that expectation. Thank you so much for spending time with me. You have made it this far. <laughs> I appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you for watching. Get to your friends and let's help each other become better in our relationships.